Hello, tech people. We just got our ultra wideband modules from Rayax. Let's unbox them and see what they can do. I love how they come in these compact little boxes. If you're new to it, Ultra Wideband, or UWB, is a wireless technology that offers centimeter level accuracy. Unlike Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, it's designed for precise distance measurement, making it perfect for indoor positioning, robotics, and real-time tracking. These Rayax modules come with an integrated antenna and claim an accuracy of about 10 centimeter, not bad at all. The actual UWB chip is tiny, and this dev board just breaks out all the necessary pins for easier prototyping. To configure these modules, we use AT commands. For this, you can simply use the Arduino IDE or any serial monitor software. And I'm using a USB to serial converter board to connect the module to the computer. Make sure the converters you use are 3.3 volts, not 5V. These modules aren't 5V tolerant. Connect the TX to RX and RX to TX. And connect the power and we are ready to configure them. In the IDE, select the COM port and set the board to anything. It doesn't really matter. Set the board rate to 115200. Set both NL and CR. And send the command AT. You should receive an OK back. Next, check the mode of the module. Send AT plus mode and question mark. You will get the mode as a number. Zero is tag mode, which is the factory default for all the modules. One is anchor mode and two is sleep mode. Since this module is already in tag mode, we will leave it as it is. Then set the network ID. Send eight plus network ID equal to your network ID. This should be the same for all the modules in a project. Next, set the unique address of the module. Send eight plus address equal to, I'm gonna name this module as tag one. To check all the values that we set, we can put a question mark at the end of the commands. And the module is all set to go. Now swap in the second module. This will act as the anchor. This one needs to be in anchor mode. For that send, AT plus mode equal to one for anchor mode. Then set the network ID and then the unique ID of the module. In the next step, I've hooked it up to an ESP32 Nano and an OLED display. And the tag module is simply connected to a 3.3 volt power. Let's quickly test the working of the modules before we do an outdoor test. Keep in mind that UWB works best when there is a good line of sight. While it offers impressive centimeter level accuracy, its performance can drop in the presence of walls, obstacles, or interference from other signals. Metal structures can also create interferences. As you can see, I was able to test these modules for up to four meters, and they start to fail after that. This might be because there are so many metal structures around. Comment if you've used these modules and had more success. Also, let me know if you'd like me to run more tests in open spaces.